Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep and welcome to a Sunday video. So today I'm going to be doing a review of some Ultra Pro binders, including the Two Pocket Ultra Pro Pro Binder, the Nine Pocket Ultra Pro Pro Binder, and then the Nine Pocket Eclipse Ultra Pro Binders. So yeah, there, these are the Eclipse ones and these, this is the Pro Binder one. And I'll, I'll be going to each of these and just their functionality as far as you know, keeping cards protected and your collection in general. So starting off, we'll just go with this Ultra Pro Pro Binder. So I looked pretty in depth on both of these models, the Eclipse versus just the regular Pro Binder. And honestly, on the inside and just the outside in general, everything feels pretty much the same. Um, you have the plastic outside, you have a band, an elastic band to kind of keep everything taut on the inside, but everything is the same, same amount of pages. The quality on the pages and everything feels about the same. Um, it's side loading, it holds 360 cards. So I think this is just an older model and then these are the newer models because I know a lot of these, at least on the website, are out of print. But I do think they look cooler or you know more special or premium because they say that pro, they have that pro binder stamp right there. But in reality, I, besides aesthetics, I don't really see any difference between these two, but this is probably a newer model. If anyone knows the actual truth behind that, please feel free to share with everybody in the comments. But we'll start out with just this Ultra Pro Pro Binder right here. So I do have my Evolutions Master Set in this one. Um, so as you can see, it fits Pokemon cards fairly well. So, you know, the regular size of trading card game for the cards. And for all of these, I've sleeved up all of them once I put them in here. But if you were to put a card with no sleeve, I would say that it actually slips a little bit more within but I mean, once I put cards into these binders, like these are the sets that I'm truly collecting. So I wanted to, I wanted to sleeve all of them up, but they're really easy to pull out and then put back in as well. Um, I know a lot of you are probably asking, oh, can you fit, you know, more cards in just one slot? So, and then these don't have any, because these are my Charizards right at PSA. These don't have any sleeves and they're still just as easy, but I will admit they do move around a little bit more um, I don't do anything crazy with these. I don't take them anywhere or, you know, chuck them around the room or anything. And I do store them vertically like this, but I'm sure if you had them stored like this, they'd be perfectly fine too, because they do stay fairly compressed, especially once the band is on there. Like it may look like it might be a little bit damaging, but because you have all this material and then all the cards up against each other, it's, it's really negligible. It's much better than a traditional binder, having some rings here and just slowly, you know, torturing your cards within or at least if you're wanting them to stay nice. Um, so you have 360 cards. It has 20 of these double-sided nine pocket pages. So you could say 40 pages or 20 double-sided nine pocket pages. It holds 360. So generally uh, speaking, I can only speak for really for Pokemon. Most sets, even including the ultra rare, should be able to fit in here. Um, as far as difficulty of like putting them in, they so these on the left column, it's side loading from this side. And then for these, they side load from like in the middle right here, which can be kind of annoying, but if you like slightly bend and slide them in that way, it makes it really easy to just get one corner in and slide it back in. So overall, when I was just putting a bunch of cards in really quickly, it wasn't too bad. And then it's kind of a mirrored effect on this side. So you, set, you will load from the middle right in here. And then over here, it's from the side right there. So. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure if you got this, you'd be able to figure it out. These usually run for about $19.99. You know, you could find them at Walmart, Target. You could literally go to the Ultra Pro website. Um, I'm sure in some places, maybe like eBay or maybe even Amazon, you can find them cheaper for like $15 or $17. Or I've, I've seen a few times where they're like $10, but I don't know if those are still brand new ones or like used ones. But still, they're, they're fairly reasonably priced. I've looked at some of the other Ultra Pro options, like the premium ones that have like leather and all that stuff. And... While they would be nice, and even the ones that have like 12 pockets instead of just nine, those would be nice. I've realized that the more and more sets that I collect, that would add up a lot over time as far as getting all those binders. So yeah, I think this is like the happy medium. I would, one, I guess one of the cons that I would say is I would prefer to have some type of zipper going along here to fully secure them like some of the premium Ultra Pro binders do, but then you start getting up to the 30, the 40, the $50 range for each of these. And I was debating whether or not to divide it by sets or by rarity, and I decided by sets, and because of the sets, it just makes a lot more sense to get these in mass versus 
getting a really nice one and putting all my nice cards in that way because it's just much easier if I was trying to find, yeah. This I have, I have three sets in this one. I have base set, um, jungle, and fossil in this one, so yeah. Because luckily there's not a whole bunch of reverse hollows that need to be collected for those sets, which, you know, some people like the reverse hollows, but it, it was it was nice and simpler back then. And then this is just the black version too. Once again, the same stuff. I have base set two and I think team rock in this one, yeah. So yeah, definitely a lot of work to do on base set two as far as the hollows, but. And then we have the four pocket one. So I think this one is perfect. So these are like all my duplicates of, you know, cards that I'd be willing to like sell on eBay or trade. But I think this is perfect just for, you know, a deck because it holds 80 cards. It's the same thing, 20 pages front and back. So, or 40 pages, however you want to look at it, but 20 pages front and back. So it'll hold 80 cards. This is perfect, at least speaking Pokemon for like a deck plus a little, you know, a few extras to trade or just a trading or, you know, I just use this as my ones that I can potentially sell. So it's a nice little binder. This is this was part of the uh, the collection that my aunt sent over, and I was gonna get rid of this, but I'm like, wait, no, this is actually really handy to just keep all my extra or my duplicate ultra rares. So I know another thing that isn't shown too often. Let me I'm gonna do a page that I don't care if it does stretch out. So one of the things is can multiple cards fit in there? So I have these uh, three cards, you know, and a little bit of the the thicker the matte sleeves. So, you know, the regular penny sleeves from Ultra Pro, they're pretty thin. They're very, you know, minimalistic. So I'm gonna try it with these, which are a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna slide one in there. All right, fits fine. I'm gonna slide two. And that still fits fine. So two, this is where I am like comfortable, but we will see if it will fit three. And it does actually fit three. So at this point, I would say that over time, this would stress out this, stretch out this pocket. And that is one of the reasons why I would ever want to do max two, because, you know, say I do reorganize and move cards in, I don't want to have a bunch of pages where all of this stuff has been stressed out so much that it doesn't actually contain the cards anymore. So I would say max two, but if need be, and you know for a fact you're going to stuff them and never have to unstuff them, then you could potentially fit three. I'm sure you could probably fit four or five, but I'm not going to try to find out like the max max limit of these because I don't want to ruin mine. But that, it, that is, there is potential for that. Um, as far as like any cards, like I know in some of the sports realms, you know, those are like those Jersey cards and some thicker cards. I can't speak on those and testing those out in this binder in particular, but I know there are, there, there are binders specifically for those types of cards. Um, so overall, for the price and for what these do and for what I need them to do, they fit the bill pretty much perfectly. The side loading is very useful. The cards never slip out. I've only noticed some type of slipping on the ones that didn't have sleeves. They might move a little bit to the right or to the left, but they never will completely fall out like some of the regular three ring binders will, and they'll just completely fall at the top if the uh, the pages that you bought aren't like the high quality ones that actually keep them tight in there. Um, these never notice anything falling out. I do think they're well worth you know the price and your time to put all your cards in them. Uh, really no complaints thus far. I haven't had them for too long, but during the time that I've had I've had them They've they've met all my expectations that I needed for them. So overall Really great binders. I'm sure like in the Walmart kind of in the card sections You'll find these and then maybe one of these ones will be astray or something like that But in reality because you can't well, you shouldn't open them up in the store. They're they're nearly the same thing So if you find them I think they're worth it, and you can also get them online. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, but I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you guys for watching.